Is there anything special we are going to get on the S24 Ultra display? From the first ever render to the last official picture of Galaxy S24 Ultra, clearly showing what we are going to get on the S24 Ultra. This is one of the earliest render of Galaxy S24 Ultra, showing off a couple of things which was not available on the S23 Ultra. Let me break down what are the differences. First, it is going to feature a flat display instead of having a curved display on S23 Ultra. Second, and this is very important, while getting a flat display, S24 Ultra will going to feature asymmetrical bezels, means all four sides will have the same width. It is worth mentioning, while adding a flat display, Samsung manages to reduce the bezel size on S24 Ultra, making it one of the smallest bezels on any Galaxy phone, even smaller than the iPhone 15 Pro Max. According to the source, it is 1.5mm. Now these are some of the official images of Galaxy S24 Ultra, mostly will used for marketing purposes, showing off same exact features of S24 Ultra. Although these new official images actually confirm the wallpapers of S24 Ultra, a slightly change in variation according to the color of S24 Ultra. While the colors are also confirmed, the official ones are gray, violet, yellow, and black. And yes, there is no white color option in the S24 Ultra. While changing S24 Ultra display, Samsung made changes with the body of S24 Ultra. Even the display technology of S24 Ultra has changed. Let me explain, but before moving on to that, a subscribe to the channel will be amazing. While adding the flat display on S24 Ultra, people really hate this thing about the S24 Ultra. While the inner bezel on S24 Ultra are one of the smallest ones, the outer bezel is one of the biggest ones. Reason, Samsung got only two options to fix this. Either they go with the flat size, which feels bad in hand, or they put a curve on the sides of S24 Ultra, which feels better in hand. Samsung chose the second option, which makes S24 Ultra looks weird. Smaller inner bezels, but larger outer bezels. Samsung find a solution there and they are not going to put the black outer bezels on the S24 Ultra, which is a good decision. If they put the black outer bezel, the bezels on S24 Ultra feels really thick. While adding a flat display on S24 Ultra, people were happy about the durability of S24 Ultra and clearly it will be better than the curved display. But Samsung is also going to change the technology behind that. According to the source, S24 Ultra will going to feature a new GG Armor Glass which is a new Gorilla Glass version, much better than the Victus 2 used in the S23 Ultra. Along with this new glass, Samsung is going to put the titanium sides on the S24 Ultra, which makes it one of the most durable phone of 2024. Remember I said Samsung is going to put the new display technology on S24 Ultra? Oh yes, it is M13 and we are going to see some crazy peak brightness, whopping 2600 nits of peak brightness, much more than 1750 nits used in the S23 Ultra. The best part is, Samsung is going to use this new display technology across all models of Galaxy S24 lineup, including the base model Galaxy S24. There is one difference. S24 Ultra and S24 Plus both were going to feature a Quad HD Plus display, whereas S24 Base model were going to feature a Full HD Plus display. No more differences. Oh, so the size is also the difference. This information is already leaked a while ago, but after these, the invitation for the launch of Galaxy S24 Ultra is out and we can see Samsung showing off, Galaxy AI is coming and the date of the launch is 18th of Jan, 3am KST, which is the 17th of Jan in the US and you can pre-order the phone after the event and phones will be available in the market on 30th Jan. If you guys want to see the full in-detail specs of Galaxy S24 Ultra, then you should watch this video and I hope you guys subscribe. I'll see you next time. Till then, peace out.